Good evening ladies and gentlemen, how are we getting on? Welcome to a brand new Fallout 76 video and today, as I have been promising for a little while, I thought we'd take a little look at the merge glitch which is uh, rather handy for doing things like decorating shelves, as we see in the background there and also putting different pieces of furniture together to create new and more interesting pieces of furniture So, let's jump into it! Okay, so yeah, I'm a little late to the party on this one, but I know I'm not alone in that particular fact, but yeah, very, very handy glitch to uh, merge various objects into each other. And um, one of the reasons I didn't kind of learn this early on was mostly that, well, frankly, early on in 76's life, a lot of the glitches and things that we had available for camp building were, frankly, kind of a nightmare to use. They were time consuming and awkward at best. This one, however, is actually um, not. It's really great. So, before we dive in, just a little shout out and a thank you to my friend Rob, who very kindly showed me this a while back. I think I've got my head around it now, so uh, let's get cracking, shall we? Okay, so I've got a few bits and pieces set up here already, just to uh, save a bit of time. I've got a selection of things to put on shelves, and some shelves to put them on. And basically we're going to focus on putting things on shelves, because it's exactly the same technique for putting uh, objects and furniture together, like merging um, crafting benches into the stash boxes, the metal kind of units, which I might as well show you these things you know you see a lot of people putting their crafting tables into these and it's exactly the same technique but um, we can kind of cover all the details quite easily with shelves it kind of uh, gets to the point a bit better so let's have a look at how to do this so first things first we are going to need a generator and I'm going to use a skull panel as it's basically one of the least resource intensive generators the next thing we're going to need is a pressure plate just the one, that'll do the job. Let's find somewhere where we're not going to clip too much into the ground. That should do it about there. Nice. So first up, we need to wire these two up. And this is the important bit. You need to make sure that the light is green. If it's red, this will not work. I have no idea why, but that's a thing, apparently. Also worth noting, if you've got a Collectron like I have over there, or a Camp Ally, you might want to do this before you place those down, just so they don't walk over the pressure pad and mess the whole thing up for you. In this case, we're just going to take the risk. So, next up, we'll grab our shelf, and we'll stick it onto the pressure plate. Doesn't really matter where, as long as it's on there and it stays green. So, pro tip, have a look at what you're going to put on first, because certain things are going to be absolutely fine, like, say, this stash box. I'll do for the moment. But if I were to try and put something like, say, this on, then you'll notice we're going to have some slight clipping issues there, which will look daft. You'll also find that some things have um, collision boxes on them that extend a little bit above their upper surface, so a little bit of clearance between the shelf is, and the object you want to place on it is probably not a bad idea, because uh, that way you'd find things don't sit on top of the object on the shelf below, they actually sit on the shelf, which just makes lining them up a little bit easier, as we'll see in a moment. So we'll get rid of that for now. Let's have this pumpkin, because why not? That'll do for now. There's a couple of different objects. And we can just hop up here, make sure that they are more or less in place. That looks pretty decent to me. They're basically in the middle. Make sure I don't land on the pressure pad. And now here's the easy bit. We're going to go over, select the shelf. We're going to press the E move key to select the whole thing, and then we're going to place it again with the same button. Now, it'll be same principle if you're on console. It won't be E, obviously, but whatever the move button is, it'll tell you at the bottom, so it's the same principle. And we just repeat that over and over, and you'll find that the objects on the shelf will drop down inside of the, ob of the shelves that we're working with. So you can see how that's working there. How are we doing there? I think we're a little high still. Do have to be careful not to grab the objects on the shelf, but just the shelf itself. And is that about right? It's close enough, you get the idea. Next we can come over, we'll grab... Let's have this. I'll do it on the top there. I have Mothman here. This might be a little bit close to being too tall here. Hmm, not sure. I guess we'll find out in a minute. We'll stick it on the end just to go as it is. And let's have a decoy duck as well. Why not? So we'll get that place on there. We'll hop up top again. Just to make sure that these are in more or less the right place. So we'll sort of see what we're doing. And they look vaguely neat and tidy. 
That looks okay to me. Actually, it doesn't look that great, but you know, whatever. You get the idea. So, we repeat again. Now everything moves together. And if we've got it right, we should be able to have the bottom of each level line up with the shelf. Because they're equidistant. One more, I think. Looks about right. Meh, I think I did one too many there, but that's fine. You get the idea. This is why you need a little bit of practice for it. Because, as you see, I've gone a little bit too low down there. And technically, this lad here is still sticking through the top, as we can see. So, that one's a bit too tall. But you get the idea. It kind of highlights the issue I was talking about before. So, yeah, a little bit of practice to kind of get the um, measurement exactly right. And make sure you get the right number of clicks. Just be a bit careful, take your time. If it's not right, you can always start over, basically. Because I would have to take these out and then start from the top again, otherwise I'll end up with a blank shelf. But uh, you get the general idea. It is worth noting, sometimes you'll get shelves where the gaps are not all the same distance apart. So, a good example might be, if we have a look in the tables tab, uh, here's a favourite of mine, this little sideboard. If we get a close-up look, you can see we've got the gap here between this layer, and then this shelf is a bit smaller, and then this one at the bottom is a bit larger. So you have to kind of plan around that. The same technique does work on this. It works on a lot of things, actually. Not everything, though. Bear that in mind. But, yeah, you have to plan ahead to make sure you allow for the fact that certain gaps are bigger than others, which is a bit more complicated. So we'll have one last look at this. Let's get our fishy. Stick him on the top. Grab a nice severed head in a jar. Because uh, who doesn't want to decorate their house with severed heads? As one does in the apocalypse. And a nice succulent as well. That'll do. Get the idea. Now we're getting a bit iffy because I'm getting close to grabbing the stash box, which I don't want to do. So be a bit careful with that. And we're looking there. We're about right. Not quite. I think we need at least one more. Looks okay. I think that looks good. Although this top shelf does appear to be floating a little bit. That's actually going to highlight quite nicely the issue I was talking about before. You can see we've got the succulent here. It's actually sat on the top of the um, beer stein. That's what it's called. Which is actually preventing the thing from meeting. So good thing to note. Managed to highlight some of the problems. If we give it another pop. We can see that's now actually sat on the shelf properly. Although these are obviously clipping back in again because we messed it up earlier. And as I say, if you wanted to fix one of the shelves afterwards, you basically have to start the whole thing over again and get it right. But it does allow you to do it. So, let's imagine for a moment this is more or less where we want it. Let's just grab these because they're here and we'll stick them on the top anyway. You can go on the top without it being a problem, can't it? There we go, nice. Now, how do I move it? Because obviously this is not where I want the final product. We grab the shelf again. And because it's now off of the pressure plate, we won't have too much problem with it. We move it inside to wherever we want. Drop it down. There we go. I mean, clearly that's a bit high for the ceiling as well, but you get the general idea. And if it's not quite right, let's decide we want it over here. Be a complete pain in the neck, but we could do that. So there we go. How to decorate shelves. If you want to combine crafting benches and other pieces of furniture, stuff like that, Exactly the same technique. Uh, was the wrong button, wasn't it? Exactly the same technique, but uh, you're just using different pieces of furniture. So there we go. That is how you do the merge glitch. Nice and simple. Now we can tidy up again, can't we? Sorted. Obviously, going to take up more budget than just the shelf on its own, but hey, it looks way better when it's actually in your camp. As exhibited by the one I did earlier, which tucked quite nicely, let's get rid of that, in here. He went all the way down to the bottom on this one. Nice. So there we go. If you guys want to uh, have a crack at it, uh, do let me know how you get on. Do hope you guys found this useful and informative in the meantime. If you're interested in checking this camp out, I'll put a link somewhere around to uh, the video on this. Quite like this spot myself. If you want to uh, support the channel, please do check out social media links, merch store, channel memberships, like subs, all that good stuff down below the video as well. Really, really helps out. Do check out the playlist as well. We've got a load of other guides and things like that if you're interested. And countless camp building videos as well if you are new to the channel. For now, thank you very much for watching. I do hope you found this useful and informative. If you get a chance, join us for live streams as well. Cosplay 76 and uh, The Witcher 2 at the moment. Though we play other things as well on the side. But for now, 
Thank you very much for watching, and I look forward to speaking to you all very, very soon.